right, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, and welcome to the stream. I'm side busting early. It's Monday. I got way too much sugar in my system. Torts, good morning to you. Ooh, I'm out of breath because I ran from the, across the house. I'm okay though, I'm okay. Let me go over here and check uh, audio, make sure it's working. It'd be cool if it was. Sounds like it's working just fine. All right, let me, um, hang on. Let me do a couple housekeeping things here. All right, we can um, switch over there. <coughs> and um, uh, pull up. Uh-oh, a chair stuck. I got it. There we go. All right. So let's, uh, I'm not expect. well, I shouldn't say that. Even though Kerbal is pretty much a Kerbal one is a released item. And yes, tomorrow's Tuesday. We are supposed to get. A, there's an update to Seacan again. All right. Let's update the update. Um, so tomorrow at one o'clock Eastern time is when the update is supposed to be pushed out for people of the East Coast of the United States. Um. I have every intention of streaming it. Um, it just, I have to push my schedule around a little bit. So I got no updates. Awesome. All right, cool. Let me get rid of that. Let's get, um, for some reason I don't have chat up. There's chat. All right. So now we launch Kerbal. And uh, I'm a little warm. So I'm going to turn on my overhead fan here real, real quick. There we go. Good morning, monster. Monster again. Thanks a lot for your uh, your charity. I'm uh, not charity. Your support. I appreciate that very much. Your uh, contribution is what I wanted to say. I knew it started with a C. Oh, man, that's good. It is Monday. It's funny. I've actually uh, Alex has been sick, so a couple nights I didn't get that much sleep because of a lot of coughing. Made up for it last night though. So, uh. so I got up and did a quick grocery food run to Walmart, just some bare essentials. And uh, I tell you what, after the stream, I have to go change the oil and then um, a couple more errands. Then I come back and I get to paint the wall. I mean, it doesn't sound like much, but I'm, I'm gonna share with you guys that are here so bright and early in the morning. This is my little Pictionary of the wall. So this right here is the window that's behind the wall. And you can see down here at the bottom is brick. So the entire exterior of this house is brick. So as you can see here, and this is good to have this, when I did the electrical, we, we basically were about, uh, I was gonna say we're about 40 inches up or 41 inches across from, and the breakers back here. But of course I can't go through here. So I had to come down and you see these three studs? There's three right here. So I had to drill through those, drill through that, drill through those. And we had to put nail spikes or uh, I, can't, I can't remember what they're called, but they prevent you from driving nails or screw. It's, you know, it's like a very in thick steel. So this is behind the wall. There is an electrical outlet here now, and this is where my miter saw, my miter station is gonna be. Um, and this is the outside. So a long time ago, something happened and got broken. <laughs> um, and what I did is I went out here and I, I pulled off, there is a storm, hang on. Uh, why can't I zoom in? There we go. So there's a, a storm window around the window. And this is, so like if you're, if you're on the inside, you would open up the window and then here you have these little inserts so you can pull up a window and then there's still a screen. So I don't have any fear whatsoever because the sheathing is attached to the house and then the window is inside the sheathing. And then the other window, which just has a broken piece of glass in there is filled with lumber but I'm not worried about it at all. Um, no, I don't want to change anything. So 
that's the outside. And this is me putting a thermal layer around it. And then this is us putting up our first layer of sheetrock. And then what we had to do was these are furring strips. Uh, they're about an inch and a half wide by three quarters of an inch. On the other side, it was a half an inch. And you know, it's weird, brick is an actual, a decent, um, how do you say, um, um, thermal barrier, or what, what, what uh, a, uh, it has an okay R rating. So, and then, so that's the first one, and that's where the second one goes. And then of course we got all four sheets up, and we, like I said, we did the electrical. So this is, this is where the window is. So you can see how we have screws, but there's no screws here because there's a window, which is fine because I'll be able to go from these studs to this studs with a cleat system and it'll still be plenty of support. And then this is when I got out there and actually did the electrical. And then the finish process, going through and covering all the screw holes and uh, up here we had a, a gap. Uh, all in all, it, it was a lengthy process for me because I don't do this professionally. Um, uh, aren't you afraid that mold can build between the sheet and the brick wall? I mean, the sheetrock. So you're you're uh, you're concerned that where we have metal, I'm sorry, wooden studs and sheetrock that moisture can build up. This is how the whole house is built. It's got brick on the outside with wooden. Yeah. The house itself has no insulation except for up in the attic. Every single wall, it's brick and sheetrock and that's it. How they did it back then. Yeah, and this is some old insulation that was still good and I just went out and Reinsulated, and before anyone says i understand i got all this reversed so it, it'll still work um so again i'm not good at joint compound or anything like that so you can see how our furring strips go up to the rafters here so that way we can still kind of eyeball where the studs are so again there's no screws here because there's a, a window in there so but it's going to be hard it's easy to tell now but um so this is when i started doing the butt joint I, i'm not a big so you can see here my mud was too wet so the tape bubbled up on me i went through and cut out the bubbles resealed the bubbles sanded those down filled again sanded that down one more last coating and it, everything was fine except for down here, I had a little bit of paper showing just a little bit. So then that's a primer coat, that's not paint. And then you can still see through the first layer of primer, you can still see some of the mud. So I'm gonna put two coats of paint on today and uh, we should be good to go. And again, it's not like a, an interior wall, there's gonna be cabinets and stuff over it. So I just wanted a white wall. So thanks guys for going through that, I appreciate that. All right, Kerbal, we're Kerbalin. Finally. Oh, it's, it's getting there. I've, I've never done. So when I was about 24, 25, I had a kind of a side job helping out someone who was paying me cash. Um, and I was doing some sheetrock, mainly I was hauling big sheets around. And in the, before I put on, you know, some of this, uh, thermal layering, I was able to squeeze into some tight spots. So if you can think of a, a duct space and the duct has got framing around it, but then it still needs to be covered with uh, insulation and sheetrock. There's a lot of these places. I was working in a hospital, a new section of the hospital and where the peon had to crawl through these spaces and use um, construction adhesive and put the sheetrock and then drill it in. And this is before cordless drivers too. So. That's the only real experience I have with any sheetrock. And I helped a little bit with uh, putting up mud, but the, the guys that were professionals, man, they were quick and efficient and wow. All right, so we need to, um, we got some science. I'm gonna hang on to that though. 
All right, let's do some quick contracts here. So we got Kerbin, Minmus, Surface of Minmus, Surface of the Mun. I don't want to do any more deployed. So that is something when we send the guys. So that's Eve. Seismic, no, perform a manned return. So this is what we're gonna try to do today, I think. Anything else? Wow, Jewel and Lathe already. Mm. All right, so let's go knock these out real quick. Actually, let's pick up, perform a manned return from Orbit of Eve. All right, so we'll do that today. Right now, let's go make some quick kerbuckle bucks, all right? Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Before I do that, we had some people redeem some Kerbal names. So let's um, go get those taken care of real quick. All right, so we have got two scientists up in the station. We have... Looks like we're, it looks like we could probably use another pilot. So let's do herbals, create, and we have Linux Guru. We'll make him pilot. And, um, we have rosters full. Oh, really? All right. So hang on. Looks like we're going to have to upgrade that. Now, did Linux get created or not? Oh, he did. All right. So roster still full. What? I, uh, I probably have to uh, go in and out of a building. Do, 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 do. All right. Active Kerbals 12. All right. According to this, we're fully upgraded and we have unlimited Kerbals. All right. Let's try this again. Roster full. All right. Let's just try it. Um... And let's go with another scientist. Ah, look, it's not full anymore. All right. All right. And then we also have baked bean. Let's go with a, another pilot. All right. So I have completed all those. All right, now let's go for some easy for buckle bucks. So we need to do space around Kerbin, all right? Where's our relay network? I got a very, very, very bad neck. Friday, I'm gonna go hopefully to the chiropractor and get it fixed. Log, transmit. That takes care of that. Then got Minmus. Let's go to Minmus. We gotta do space. I'm going to turn this engine off so I don't accidentally. All right. And then we want to do the surface.
Okay. And gotta do surface of the mud. Do, do, do. Oh, battery charged low. So let's um, let's get the sun. Electrical charge. It died. Can't do anything remotely because we don't have. Where the heck is the sun at? Finally, there it is. All right, that's charged. Weird. Um, all right. So we'll say 20, 70, 140, 190, 190,000 Krabacle bucks. All right, let's go. Create a craft that can get us to Eve and back, not landing, just in orbit. All right, so we have an orbiter, a shuttle. Where's it at? There it is. So... This is made to dock and rendezvous with our station in orbit. Um, now, if we've got a probe core in here, we don't need it in there anymore because we have a mod that does that now. So we can save those parts and money. All right. Uh, I think what I want to do is uh, let's take the RCS off because we're not going to use this to rendezvous with anything that I know of. But what I do want is to pack science on this. So let's go to the science section and see what we can ask. Uh, so we're not going to land on the surface. If we do this unmanned, let's take this right, and then we'll take that is so weird how um, that does that. Oh, look at that. We can actually attach the science to the science thing. I wonder why that is. Weird. Um, all right, so. That there, so this. I started playing Mars Horizon again. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They got a, um, 
Wait, I want to make sure I'm talking about the right game. That's one where you you build rocket, you upgrade parts, and you have to solve uh, mini, pu mini mini games, right? Is that the right one? Yeah, they have a, a sequel coming out to that too. All right, so we got that, got that. We're not gonna land. But if we're gonna use this as a basis of landing on Eve, I might as well take it so I don't forget it. I'm missing a science, I guess not. <sighs> Alright, let's put this here. There's our science. So, for an orbiter, I just want to make sure that when this gets there, the stage that we get there with has enough fuel to get back. So, um, I don't think KSP Delta V map. I'm looking for a comparison advantages disadvantages but can't find any I've hauled sheetrock and don't like it because you have to be careful not to break it from tightening the strap that's well they they actually make um if you're looking to haul it now there's as a one-man operation, there's ways to do it so it's not so hard, but you have to spend a little money. I think She Rock and Drywall are pretty much, I, I, I call them the same. They're interchangeable for me. Um, but if you're looking to single-handedly haul a sheet without balancing in an awkward, they make these little handle things that you walk up and you, you let me see if I can find it. Oh, you drove a flatbed? Oh, I got you. Well, She Rock has got um, some, it's got some properties. The gypsum. Wait, not looking to haul it. Why use it over normal drywall? So I guess the question is uh, what is, oh, hang on. What is the difference? of sheet rock versus drywall. Sheet rock is a brand of drywall that is registered trademark of the US gypsum company with the exception of a couple of chemicals. So again, kind of the same. So I guess drywall could be referred to wallboard, plasterboard. 
Alright, uh, NC, can you have a little mod to have Delta V map and KSpedia on the game? Um, wait, what? I do. Which one is it, Snake? So I guess technically there is a difference. Drywall is a panel made of gypsum plaster, sandwiched between thick paper. Sheerock is a brand of drywall. The term has become interchangeable with drywall. Sheerock is also used for replacement um, with plaster. So I don't think there's a huge difference. Um, if you're talking about I couldn't find any information. Well, here, let me post that for you. Hopefully that helps. Um, so yeah, the, the link I provided there, there's a GitHub to where you can actually have something in the game that shows you uh, um, you can actually have this in the game versus a, in, an image. All right, so landing on Eve is very expensive if you want to power land. Um, hey, Al. How's life? Life's good. So... On the wiki for Kerbal, Delta V needed returning to Kerbin is, I guess this is interplanetary, so overall you need 1400 Delta V, which sounds about right. Oh, I got you, I got you. Um, yeah, you might have to do a king, you might have to do a little bit more research and to see which one provides a better R rating. Um, the only thing I know is that when I go buy sheetrock or, or uh, drywall, the thickness is important. So if I get the improper thickness, it's not going to, it's not going to, it's either going to stick out from the other stuff or it's going to fall into the wall more because, you know, so, so let's say in here, that's three eighths inch and I go buy half inch that, that ain't going to, that ain't going to. You know, it's not going to butt up right. It, it's going to stick out too much. So in wet areas, like in the bathroom and in your kitchen, around the sink and whatnot, you have to have what's called, it used to be called green board. Now it's called purple board. So that's all I know. And again, thickness. Sorry, I'm not a sheetrock drywall expert or can help you on that. All right, so let's get 1400 Delta V coming back to... Uh, so if we go um, non-atmo Eve, and let's go, it says we need 14, let's go and have 2000 Delta V. Um, too small. Where is the skipper? Found it. Wow. All right. So we're going to go with this. <laughs> so we want to get this to, uh, to Eve. All right. So to get this back, uh, regular drywall has a benefit of being easier to repair. I know that much. Really? All right. I guess something else to consider, like does drywall have the same chemical composition, the, the same gypsum as, as a sheetrock because it has some fire retardant elements. That That's what I read when I was shopping for it. Uh, let's do that. Hmm. All right, 
right, so we need some power. And actually, I want to put these on this side. Now, if this is going unmanned, let's make sure. So Electro was kind enough to write a, a, a config, a mod. Yeah, I think what I got was just drywall. It actually said drywall on the side, so. Interesting. What am I looking for? Command pod, so you can see here this this command pod actually says unmanned so it's it's actually a probe core because i have a electro wrote me a little config file a mod so i can uh, not have to keep squeezing stuff in there uh so we want to get an antenna on this let's um i'm gonna put these over here and um So we're gonna collect all our science here. So when we come back to Kerbin, we're probably gonna do some uh, arrow breaking. So we'll get rid of this. So I wanna see if I can't get my money back from this. We have a docking port, which we don't actively need, but I'm gonna keep it. And we do have a parachute in there. All right, so. so what I need to do is rig this thing with a an antenna. Oh, we got one right there, but I need a um, a long range antenna. So let's see what we can get away with here. I think this one, 158 gigameters, 62. Yeah. We're gonna go with uh, putting this, and then we're gonna extend it maybe oh, okay so we could actually embed this down to about there all right i'm gonna make an action group let's do um five for the antenna to deploy So there should be a toggle, that's what it's like. All right. Um, out of curiosity, if, uh... okay, I'm just gonna leave the RCS where it is right now. And then what I wanna do is build in some, um, uh, what do you call it? Some uh, stage recovery. Right. Forgot what I was doing. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, but uh, I got in the back of my mind, I'm going, did I get drywall or did I get sheetrock? So. <gasps> All right. And then we need um, parachutes. For my purposes, I really don't think it matters. Uh, just making sure I got the right uh, thickness. So if I have a room that's got half inch sheetrock or drywall, and then I get three eighths, it's not, it, it, that's not what you want to do. All right, so how are we doing there? Good. And then stage recovery. And then it looks like we just need a couple more. All right, that should be good enough. I do know after the first of the year, I have some um, remnants left over from uh, 
the bathroom and the garage and that wall as it goes to the corner i want to see if i can't complete that corner which will be the same size sheetrock that's on that side but then on this side i have some leftover purple board from the bathroom that i want to start getting behind the washer and dryer and the um utility sink vanity thing all right that should be good all right so now let's uh bring all that back in when i read the name can be used interchangeably but i think but i think of sh the shirak i think it's as heavy as two person lift can break your back it's true um i uh i always i don't know i've always been able to uh brute force it myself but there is um there is a mechanical mechanism that if you're working by yourself and you're trying to put sheetrock up on the ceiling you it, it it looks like a weird dangerous contraption but i've seen many videos of people using it to where it's it's a a crank system and you lower it all the way down it's got a tray yeah and then you can load up that sheet lock it in place crank it up get it up there and that you get in the right position then you can anchor it and then pull it down and then there's this handle thing that i have one somewhere that you can and i use it for sheet good period whether it's sheetrock or plywood where i can go up and it's got uh rubber grippy things and it, it's got jaws like that and you got a handle on this side and you go and when you pull the handle it closes and then you can oh all right i think we're good we are good with this stage so now we want to build a stage that goes from kerbin's orbit to eve and you put this in orbit. Now this has got more delta V than it's supposed to, but I need to test the return. So there's that. Excuse me. Um. So then we need to go back to Kerbin, and I need to find this. So we get to Kerbin's orbit, and we're going to go from Kerbin orbit to here. So we need a thousand. Um, let's say that's um, 600, 700. Um, so we'll say we need 2,500 Delta V to get to the orbit of Eve. Okay. So we're looking for a stage that's gonna give us 2,500 Delta V. Hey, look, it's 2,600 right there. Perfect. Except for, I don't think the main sail is a good choice here. Let's try another skipper. Um, all right. The very low thrust to weight ratio Thinking, does it all have fuel in it? That's all got fuel in it. That's got fuel in it. So if we take this out and attach swivels, hey, Didn't realize that that was there. Simple lightweight drywall I've used by myself. I can lift no problem. It's a difference between 30 pounds and 50 pounds. Really that big of a difference. Wow. I do know that when I went and got, um, so I got it from Home Depot and the purple board was the last sheetrock that I bought. And of course it comes in 
uh, each batch you buy is actually two sheets and I needed three, but they don't sell it just two and one. You had to buy it. Putting that up on the, uh, the carrier, not a problem. Trying to get it all into the back of a truck. That was a lot of blood, sweat and tears. Let me tell you that. All right, I'm good with that. I used to throw around 50 pound steel tarps over coils, no problem. No, it's funny how age, <laughs> I hate to say that, age. All right, so let's um, put this back. Let's drag this down. And, uh, ooh, I know what we could do. Let's put a, um, hang on. Uh, 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 engine plate here. All right, now let's um, do this clipping thing that I'm not very proud of doing, but it works. And those are touching, but my first order of business here is to make sure the engines are kind of even Steven. I don't know who Steven is or why he's so even. There's engine plates there, so we can actually do that with those. Try to get these even. That's close enough. Out, so they're not touching. And actually, that's a little bit... There. That means these guys gotta come out. Come on. Uh, when you roll up a tarp, it goes nice and neat package three by two by two, but it weighs about 50 pounds, you say, right? Yeah, I uh, I could tell by the quality of drop cloths because when Alex and I were painting uh, these rooms, oh, a lumber tarp, I gotcha. <laughs> when we were painting these rooms, we went and rented their big heavy duty paint machine, which I tell you what, they maintain them pretty darn good. And for the price and the duration that we were getting out of it, it wasn't a bad value. Uh, we'd buy the big five gallon paint and we could, with one five gallon, we could paint, I painted the, um, I painted this room, the kitchen and another bedroom. Um, and it took, I would say to paint, I would say each room on average 10 to 15 minutes. Um, and that's ceiling walls. But again, the prep work is taping off stuff, putting down tarp and stuff like that, so. But I, I think you get a nice consistency versus brush and uh, roller. I think this is going to work. Yep, that'll work. Now with this stage, we want to get stage recovery. So we might lose a little bit of our TWR here. I mean, there's not... Wait, is there something built in already? Oh, there is. All right, hang on. This is where I get in trouble. Uh, see if this works right. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, so we do stage recovery. And all right, we're good. We don't have to add any weight. Yay! I actually did something right. Oh, geez. All right. Well, the, uh, the I'm sorry, I, I went on a tangent there. So we have, we bought about easily, I'm gonna say 10 drop cloths for, you know, you see painters use them when they're painting. And I think the first ones we bought, we got from, we got like four right off the bat from Home Depot. And each one of them weighs, I'm gonna say a good eight or 10 pounds. 
And then we got some from Walmart, which look about the same and they're the same uh, dimensions, but they're not as heavy. So when I'm trying to fold those up at the end of the day, I prefer doing the Walmart ones versus the Home Depot ones. Oh, well, yes, take pride, yes. All right, so we're good here. Now we got to get this into orbit. There you go. Um, so I'm gonna leave those there. We need some boosters to get... Oh wait, this is our, no, 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 we need a lifter now. Whoa, I don't know what I was thinking. All right, we need a lifter. Well, this is gonna get fun. Um, <laughs> um, so we have an engine plate. Actually, we have two engine plates. Make sure these are okay. And then that one, sweet. Um, all right, so let's grab a decoupler. Way too big. Okay, and then we can. Do that. That looks kind of bad, but uh, there's nothing I can do about that right now. <sighs> then I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go with the big stuff. 150 foot lumber pop to top from any load. Forget it. I dragged it out of the box, leave it on the ground. That's why they made me, they make forklifts for I, I, I get it. Yeah, no, I get it. I saw a video of a guy that had a custom made, he was building a house, he was a contractor, and this piece of lumber was easily, um, uh, I'm gonna say about four feet thick and was about um, six feet, no, not six feet, about five feet, no, three by five is what I remember. I have never seen a support joist that thick before. All right, so we're gonna do, where are my adapters? Oh, I don't have, um, oh, here we go. That one? Uh, nope. We gotta do the small one first, I think. That one? Nope. Do I not have a fuel adapter that goes from this to that? That one, oh, that one works, all right. Um, and then if I want to use the big tanks, okay, so that means we have to go this. Oh. And then we can use... Right. Oh my gosh. Um, we don't have to go extremely long. Let's go squatty on this. Where's the next size down? So let's do that that can we stay consistent with our colors fine not a big fan of orange okay whatever all right oh wait a minute wait 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 okay maybe i don't need the squatty yeah i do all right oh there's only one color ah that doesn't even match oh man oh man Totally bummed. That all right. Oh well. Okay, so this is our lifter. And let's go see how we're gonna lift it. So we have got the mainsail, which has got at sea level 1379 kilonewton is six tons. So Alex is getting over a, I think we, I think we've determined she had a touch of the flu. So it started with some aches and pains. She had a little bit of a fever and she's, she's done downtime fluids and just relaxed. Uh, she did have a couple of family commitments she had to do. Her, her daughter was in a, um, um, uh, had to go to a banquet because she was part of the band club, band group. She was part of band. 
So they had a banquet and gave out awards and stuff like that. So she had to go to that. Um, so I told her, you're going to work today because everything seems okay. She just sounds like she's a chronic smoker. I said, don't talk to anyone. Use instant messages, use email, do a lot of nodding and stuff. And I gave her a big bag of throat lozenges. I said, keep it moist so you don't cough. Uh, all right, so that was, that's the main tail. Where is the, not the skiff. Did I not unlock? Uh, sure, uh, you, if you want to put them out in Discord, absolutely. That's the board. Did I not unlock the, there it is. All right, so 13, no, so 1283, and that weighs five tons. So it's a ton lighter and it's better. Oh, no, no, 1379. Okay, let's uh let's give this a shot here. So let's put there those there. Uh no. No. Uh-uh. Uh yes. Okay. Uh I get this off the ground. If I if I take one and oh geez, look what I did. I don't think I need that one, but we're gonna need, um, sorry. There you go. If this stage is for getting back to Kerbin from Eve, and this is to go from Kerbin to Eve, this right here all has to get us into orbit, which is not enough. So we need to do a little bit of solid or some booster in here. You don't know what Discord is? Or are you just pulling my leg? I thought so. Yeah, if you put it, I don't allow links um, in chat. I got to work it out with my bot and that'll be a, a next year project. Uh, but I have a general chat section where you can share some pictures. All right, so how do I want to do this? Oh, all right, all right. First of all, let's start with that and I think we want to go to the small er like this this is what we want right here and oops I didn't even Okay. Then if we put main sails, um, that's interesting. Wonder if that'll work. I think it will. Now we have nose cones with fuel. That's too big, it's too small. That's way too small. So that would mean if I wanna get as much fuel as possible, that ain't gonna work. I don't know what that is. Oh, really? What we need is procedural, um, Okay. 
So we're going to put reaction wheels and then we'll go just get a normal nose cone. All right, so let's um, do this to grandparent. Do this to also to grandparent. Oops. A couple of things. So 135 off the pad. That works. And we're going to have the boosters for two minutes. Wow. Impressive. All right. Cool. So I want to make sure that when these detach, they push away. So we're going to use separatrons. And as heavy as those are, we're going to use a couple separatrons, I think. And then to do this properly, the symmetry gets weird with um, so if we do this in mirror though, how do we do that? Again? No, not that. There we go. That works. All right, find all those. Um, all right, um, almost done. Then we're gonna grab some fuel lines. Okay, then we'll do some annual strutting here. That didn't look very good. There. 
That looks a little bit better, I think. All right, then one more up top. Right about here, maybe. Actually, let's go right there. All right, so save that. Then what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this off. Oh, no, 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 need to do a uh, stage recovery. Almost forgot about that. All right, so stage recovery. And stage recovery on that one as well. All right, stage recovery. Here we go. Start with the booster first. What did I do? Oh, for crying out loud, Andy. There you go. What stage am I on? Oh, so that one? All right. Oh, geez. So we're at 51. That worked. That's crooked. Wow, not even making a dent yet. Uh oh. What the heck's going on here? Hang on, let me um turn this off for a sec. the stage off really? uh I'm gonna have to go wow it's a lot oh that that's those are big tanks too I forgot it's 72 percent all right do that but I if I want to get my money back I'm gonna have to all right uh it's gonna make a mess there okay then we grab this and let's line this up again Looks like it's good. So now we have to um those shoots there. Put all these shoots all the way up there. Do I have RP? No, I don't. Um so these go here. These go here. Those go there. 
All right, let's make sure. Um, check my. Got that one three two. Oh, so our boosters are only going to be with us for forty five seconds. Really? Well, that's not very good. Did I do something wrong? Fuel ducts, maybe. Let's go redo the fuel ducts. fun I did RP0 with um, the overhaul mod oh, that's not right when I first started getting into modding wasn't my cup of tea because I, a, I'm not a real rocket person so it's like having a game that's so real why do you want to play it when it's so darn difficult I mean, I don't mind challenges, but I want to be productive. I want to have fun. I don't want to have to learn to be a rocket scientist to play Kerbal. All right. I guess I didn't do that wrong. All right. Whatever. All right. Uh, let's check our staging here. For some people, uh, they, they, they do like it. Some people like me, I don't mind. I, I put challenges in myself. I increase my re-entry heating. Um, I have uh, turned off all ground stations, so I'm forced to use relays and stuff like that. So it, it's not like I'm cheating. It's not like I'm going easy peasy. That's good. Then we let go of that, push that away. Then this would be... All right, not, not an ideal rocket. Not, I don't even know if this is gonna work. Oh, we got the stage recovery built in. All the shoots are up there. Um, we do have, I don't have a whole lot. Oh, 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 okay. So wait a minute. If this stage gets us to orbit, it, it's going to and I detach it it becomes a piece of debris so real quickly let's grab not that not that either I'm pressing all the wrong buttons let's grab this thing we're gonna put it right there so that the separatrons don't melt it um, then we need to put an antenna Those aren't antennas. Uh, that that would be the antennas right there. All right. I don't need two of those. I just need one. Then we're going to grab their structural. We're going to grab this thing. I never get past Leo and my Leos weren't perfect either. Oh, low, low earth orbits. Yeah, I never get an exact 80 by 80. If I get close, I'm I'm pretty happy. What are we looking for here? We're looking for... And then let's give it a battery. Oops. All right, cool. Let's... um. I mean, otherwise, you know, you go, you go RSS, you go RP, you go um, bar, stuff like that. And I did that once before. It was just really hard. And I wasn't learning anything because everything I did was wrong. So wrong. Um, what am I looking for? Panel.
All right, let's give this a try and see if it works. The big old honking rocket. A lot in the design and launch phase. Oh, that's true. It's very true. Yeah. Um... Like I said, I love playing Kerbal and, but I'm not the kind of person that, you know, waits up and watch it, wa watches, watches walkets. I'm not an enthusiast to where, you know, I'm reading all the news, watching all the rocket line. I, I, I leave that up to the people that know what they're doing. They know what it means. And uh, I'll live vicariously through them. All right, let's see if this works. Again, this is just getting to Eve, getting in orbit, and then coming back. <sighs> Hang on a sec. I got to send a message to Alex here real quick. Bear with me for a sec. Hang on a sec. Don't go anywhere. Oh man, I needed that. Oh, we're collecting science. They don't want to do that. Turn that off. Uh, it's a weird looking rocket. I thought it was going to look kind of normal too. All right. Let's see what happens here. Three, two, one. Oh, someone wants me to go IVA. Um, can I can I do that? I can't do that unless I have curbles in there. Darn it. All right. I've never used these engines or these engines before. So I have a confession. I had a couple donuts for breakfast. They're from Krispy Kreme. I like baked donuts versus the yeast risen ones, but I couldn't. The one was a, a cream filled. Okay, we're still going up, that's good. Uh, oh, okay, there's our gravity turn. I hope these got a lot of gimbal. Okay. Um, I had one donuts, the breakfast of astronauts, right up there with tang and, and uh, beef sticks. Um, one was a, a cream filled and it looked like Santa's belly. It had a belt with a buckle on it. So I ate Santa's, I ate part of Santa today. I feel bad, sorry. All right, so we've got another minute and 48 seconds. Oh, so someone uh, gave me a reply in Stationers. There's a way to actually have custom difficulty settings. Okay, I'll have to look into that. BMAC, how you doing this morning? doing okay cold today yeah it's at well it's forty six degrees gonna be wet I don't know let me see what my handy dandy AccuWeather says for Christmas I haven't looked that far ahead that's gonna be what next Monday right Wow 
Yeah, no, we got a normal day. All right, we're getting up in orbit. Holy shnike, that was scary. Is that stage going? It is. Nice. Oh, so we're going to have to... F wait, what's going on? I'm confused. Hang on. Wait, 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 wait. All right. So we need 225. We've only got 36. So hang on. Let's disengage. Let's decouple this. There we go. Light those up. Uh, actually, hang on. Let's disengage this. Let's see what the heck is going on here. Oh, I can't see too many lines. Hang on one sec, guys. All right, that, that's good. I'm not completing. Right-click taskbar. It's got a choice up there to remove weather. <laughs> it does not. Sticky keys. Sticky keys. Sticky keys. All right. So we're using a skipper. All right, skipper's got an incredible amount of, of, of thrust in vacuum too. That's why I like it so much. All right, so let's get the antenna out. There we go. Whew. So this is We gotta have Kerbals on board. So, but this is to make sure this can get there and come back. One sec, guys. All right, so now let's uh, go over here and let's target Eve. The actual, oh geez, so much Eve stuff. Can I actually change this to planets? Because there's too much, oh, there it is. There we go. And we're gonna change this to an advanced transfer. Get it calculated and then switch it over to that. All right, so according to this, we need 1,020, okay, hang on. <laughs> uh, we need 1,021 Delta V. Currently we have 2385. Now, if we include our capture burn, it says we need 2,328. Wow. That is, uh... all right. Uh, at a hundred kilometers, that puts us 10 kilometers over. Ooh, all right. Uh, I want to take a look at this and see if there's some way I can adjust this. I mean, that, that's close and I think it's going to work as long as I don't do a course correction or muck it up or anything like that. Oh, wait. Hey, how come I don't see my, uh, oh, this ain't. Something's screwy here. No mucking. Thank you. 
I don't see my trajectory at all. Well, that's weird. Oh, oh, because I didn't create it yet. All right, let's see what that looks like. Uh. Oh, all right. So, wait, is that right? I'm so confused. Hang on. Where's my? Oh, so that's my. Wow. All right. So. 1333 and 1402 is 2830. Beck Jeb, I'm impressed. You're already orbiting Eve. <laughs> uh, uh. All right, so we want to execute. Uh, actually, no, what we want to do is create a. Um, Verbal alarm clock for the first node. And that, oh, I didn't know I can actually stretch that out. How'd I do that? All right, I'm not, wait, hang on. Oh, look at that. I didn't know you could do that. Whoa, check that out. All right, anyways, um, let's do that. Now, if we get rid of this node, it's going to just have us coming in, but we want to actually get in orbit. So this, if we wouldn't have used this stage to finish our orbit, we would have had fuel left over. So we're going to, unfortunately, I think, because I don't want to leave a piece of debris again. So, yeah. So in 425 days... Let's go to the tracking station. And we'll bring up Kerbal Alarm Clock and we're gonna say, do it. Oh, I'm getting dizzy. We had hamburgers baked beans and mac and cheese for supper last night. And uh, we don't have a barbecue. So normally we cook them in the air fryer, but I needed that we're gonna use the air fryer for potatoes only to turn out the potatoes. We actually, um, they were a little too soft. So we decided not to cook them. You had baked beans and wieners, nice. So instead we just did baked beans, mac and cheese. So we're doing uh, leftovers tonight with meatloaf. Oh yeah. So my goal is before this weekend is to have that wall painted. I'm gonna paint today. I'm gonna try to do both, both coats today. And uh, So that'll be a good, you know, check mark. Um, and then next, this coming Saturday, we're keeping it simple this week for meals, two cents, Sunday, Monday, and stuff. Our face, yeah, there you go. Yeah, oh, yeah, we, um, I, let me see here. I've been informed that for Christmas, we're doing honey baked ham um, with barbecued baked beans and sides and desserts. I don't know what actual day, probably Christmas. This doesn't work the delete and close, but we'll, uh, we'll do that. Lasagna for Christmas Eve and ham for Christmas. Dude, I love the lasagna idea. Unfortunately, Alex and Alex Jr. aren't big fans of lasagna. But I did make a white sauce chicken lasagna. Uh, Alex Jr. was not here. And it was the first time using the oven. And there's there's a step to where... Oh, yeah, they... Uh, well, 
Alex Jr.'s not a big fan of pasta. She says it's boring. She doesn't like red sauce, but she loves ketchup. She, does, she likes pizza, but she won't eat marinara sauce. I, I don't know. Alex swears that Alex Jr. is not related to her, so I, I don't know what's going on. So we want to execute this node. Um, Alex loves spaghetti. We make this thing called Frank's Pasta, which is actually penne pasta cooked in an Instapot with um, slice, uh, you slice up a bunch of chicken uh, and with so some spices and, and chicken broth. And uh, once that gets all nice and tender, then you, you mix in all oh, with uh, 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 cream cheese. Once that gets all cooked, then you put a, a cup of mozzarella cheese, stir it up and you add in some uh, buffalo wing sauce so you get a little kick in there. All right, we're late on our burn. Dang it. Oh, I, I, I enjoy ravioli. I enjoy spaghetti, lasagna. Um, I've had some baked ziti. We have actually a, an Italian restaurant in town that makes pretty good pasta, but um, we like to do it, you know, but I've never sat down at a, as an at an authentic 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 the simple american pasta is not so great well you know uh, we use angel pasta because um very very thick noodles i have i at, at my age i have a little trouble processing it otherwise it just sits in my stomach so we use angel pasta and then she makes her own meat sauce and we, we eat it. We, we like it, but uh, you know, it's one of those things that when I grew up, I was, I had the, the teachings of you eat whatever's put in front of you. And yes, one of my favorite things were, I did not like chicken pot pies. Now I liked everything on the inside and I liked the, the pie part instead of the outside part when it was kind of burned and hard, I wasn't a big fan of that. But otherwise, I, I, I'm okay. I'm not a fan of anchovies. All right, somebody gave me, um, when I used to work in the computer retail business at a mom and pa shop, very nice people. Okay, we're done. So why do we have, oh, that, oh. Wait, oh, so we still have, no, 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 that's wrong. So was our burn bad? Burn bad. Uh, we only have 1,050 Delta V left. That's not gonna get our, hang on, let me figure this out. Where is Eve? Okay, there's Eve. We have an encounter. Herbal arm clock, go away. Oh, I can't control it. So we have to get an orbit. That is not... So hang on, if we face target. The way that we do um, spaghetti is fine. Um, I've never actually made homemade pasta. That would be an interesting. So let's try. All right, so that's going to take forever. Now, wait a minute. How much would this orbit be? 619. Well, let's do that. Because the contract just says orbit. All right, let's do that. That's going to take, oh, oh, okay, wait, hang on. Uh, right. I got to turn the heat up. It's getting a little chilly. There we go. All 
right, so let's uh, get out of this. Okay, sweet. And then if we go... Now, when we get to Eve, I want to turn on the science collection. Oh, still... Why can't I? Oh, that's weird. Where the heck is Eve at? Oh, I didn't want to do that. Oh, no, no. Cancel. All right. Let's get Kerbal Alarm Clock out of the way. Um, Why can't I click on Eve? That's strange. Oh, things are goofy here. I can't. Huh. Something's bugged here. All right, so let me do a save. And then go back to the Space Center. There's a story I watched on CNBC uh, or one of them good channels. They're telling people to go back to the way it was. Food is not just fuel, it's an experience. Yeah, the whole breaking in bread. Yeah, I mean, uh, Alex's uh, family, father, uh, he loves to have the family over and just all the people there and, and all the kids and stuff like that. It's a true family experience. He really enjoys doing that. that that's what he's all about, the family experience and breaking them bread and stuff like that. I don't mind that at all. I, I, I thoroughly enjoy it. Um, I think what he also likes to do, I can't remember, I think Friday, this Friday we're supposed to go over and um, watch the, uh, the 1950 or 51 Christmas Carol. He does it every year. All right, so let's see if this works now. 51, all right. I said 38, <laughs> I didn't remember how old it was. All right, so does this work? Hey, there's Eve. All right, sweet. Let's go to this, let's fly that. Yes, yes. That's the one, BMAC, you got it. I couldn't remember. All right, so now we go here. How come I don't see my, tra oh, there it is. God, fading trajectory. So it says we have an encounter. Is it the node that's messing it up? Is that why I can't? That is so weird. All right, so we want to add a maneuver node at the periapsis and we want to do an orbit 619 then that see that's what i wanted to do right there all along <sighs> well this is what i'm going to do hang on i gotta write myself a note um notepad watch all the muppet movies so there's the muppet Christmas Carol. And what is the one with the pirates called? Because so someone did a comparison to where um, Christopher King treats all the Muppets like people. Tim Curry treats all the puppets or treats himself like a Muppet. What is the Muppet pirate one called? Treasure Island, thank you very much, BMAC. So I need to uh, pay attention to that. Unfortunately, I'm in the middle of watching Fellowship, Two Towers, and then Return of the King. I'm watching all the extended. So we're talking, what, 
almost four hours of movie, my butt's gonna get sore. All right, so execute that. So that's 619 Delta V. I understand what you're saying, King. I got it. I think, um, you know, people's interpretation is a three and a half, so 10 hours. All right. Hey, Electro, how you doing? Hey, Electro, if you don't mind, later on today, can I drop you a DM? And I know we're in different time zones. I, I have a complicated process for stationers, and I think I need... Uh, someone that can think this through a little bit more. I'm going to overthink it and do it wrong. Um, evidently, there is a way. Thank you very much. There is a way of making your own difficulty settings. And, and someone explained it to me. Um, and I, I think I understand it. I just want to pass it along to you and, and let you know what I'm going to do. But I have to do it after I do all my errands and my painting today. So... Where's he? Oh, there's he. What's going on? I'm orbiting the sun. Well, his difficulty settings are based upon my save file, so I, I think it's going to work fine. Because we were using... He joined my game with my settings, so I think it'll work fine. All right. So... Uh, okay, so the orbit worked, right? So we don't have a Kerbal on board, so this works. So let's turn on science. No, oh, we're getting some. Nice. We're not getting a whole lot, but we're getting some. Where's the science collection doohickey thing? There it is. Uh, oh, 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 I forgot to tell it to... Doggone it. Put it there. And then turn it on. Hey, it worked. Yay. All right. Oh, interesting. Right. I get I get you. I understand. Oh, I keep clicking the wrong button. So we got some data. Yay. Okay. Let's see if we can get back to Kerbin and uh, recover it. I mean, because that's what we'll do with the Kerbals. Now, I've only got 429 Delta V left. So, hypothetically, if I do a transfer... Oh, so if I target Kerbin... So, we need 792 Delta V. All right. So, plenty of Delta V on that. But, again, I'm not really looking at that yet. What I want to do is get rid of the stage and I don't want to leave it in orbit. So I'm going to do something a little dopey here. We're going to go out to the AP. And we're going to deorbit this stage. Wow. I may not be able to do it. All right. So we're going to have to... Um, Transfer some fuel. That's a bummer. Oh, geez. All right. Where's my decoupler? There it is. Wait, no, there it is. All right. So, a little bit of fuel. Oh, I need alt. So, let's go up to like 500. Oh, uh, too much. Close enough. All right. See if that works. Oh, we're at the AP right now.
Hey, look at that. Look at that. Linux Guru Gamer in there with a 54 month resub. I remembered to resub this time. Thank you, Linux. Really appreciate that. Monster, thanks for the hype. I bet, I bet I could have used this fuel a little bit differently. All right, what we're gonna see, I think what I could have done is use this fuel to escape Eve. Whatever fuel I had left over is to slow down on my arrow braking around Kerbin. That's probably what I should have done. So now we can uh, transfer all the fuel back. Hang on. Well, let's open up this tank. Grab this tank. We're going to say out, out, away. Is there more than one tank there? Oh, there is. And that tank, that tank, and that little thing. Okay, then we do the same thing over. Actually, we can do this, this, and this. Say in. Right, and then we do that one. Nice. All right. Then we can uh, kick that off. And then we need to... Um, spend a little fuel so our orbit doesn't decay. How much science have we collected? I can't tell because we're in warp. Hey, we got seven science thingies. All right, sweet. Oh, jeez, I'm getting the wrong keys. Saturn, how you doing? All right, let's get that out of there. Um, okay, we'll take a look at that later. So that's going to cost us 756 Delta V. All right. And that's going to happen in one year, 93 days. All right, let's uh, Kerbal Alarm Clock this. Oh, my weekend was fine. Uh, 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 Saturday, I got out there in, in the garage. I got a primer coat up on the wall. And then Sunday, I was going to paint it. But then I decided to take that day off. So today, I get to paint. Yay. Um, Kerbal alarm clock. Where'd it go? There it is. And we're going to do that. And we're going to add that. We're going to add it. And then we're going to go F5 that. Then we're going to go to tracking station. So yeah, I mean, um, my goal of getting that wall done, painted before the end of the year, I think I'm on track. And I think Saturday, Alex and I are gonna go out there and find some studs and uh, make sure we get the outline of the studs in place. And that way next year, I'm gonna start working on uh, putting up a cleat system. And then after I get some cleats up there, my first thing I make for it is gonna be a rechargeable tool holder charging station thing. And then I'm gonna make my first cabinet. 
Uh, yippee, got to do the same thing in our basement, hallway, things to do. Yes, I, I love home improvement things. Um, but one thing I'm not looking forward to is I don't know why this is happening. But um, I think probably in a month or two, I have to go and dig up all, dig out all of the uh, caulking in our shower and in the other shower and put down another bead. Maybe I'll double up on it. I don't know why. It's very interesting. Um, in the, the, in the very far bedroom, I'm sorry, in the very far room, it used to be a bedroom. Um, it was the last addition to the house. Now the garage is on a concrete pad, but all the home is on um, supports, whatever you want to call it. But for some reason, it seems like that part of the house, the newest part of the house settles <laughs> still. So in the far corner, and we went through and did all uh, all the um, molding. We did um, the very, um, it's called Dynaflex 230 caulking. And we, we did all the caulking on all the uh, molding, all the toe kicks. I almost said toe jam, that's not right. However, supports, piles, yes. The, um, the, the one room where there was already some settling cracks, instead of using caulking, I used joint compound. And uh, because of settling, there's a, there's a crack in that corner. So I'm gonna go dig it out, squirt in some, um, uh, some foam insulation and then I'm gonna cut that out, make sure it's all nice, smooth, and then I'll put some more caulking in there. So it's not a terrible task, I just don't want it. All right, let's get this going. Coming back to Kerbin. <laughs> I don't think it's ever gonna stop. Why am I looking at Kerbin? Oh well. You talked about five free KSP2 games last night? KSP2. What? Yeah, that's true, Chris. You're right. I know, it's Spirograph, you're right. Oh, were they Kerbal challenges? I'm not good at those challenges. Oh, that was taking forever. Oh, oh you have a giveaway. Oh, nice, Linux, so cool. Oh, someone did. Oh, I got you. I got you. All right. Hey, Pookie, what's up? No, it's not snack time. No, 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 no. You can sit there and stare at me as much as you want. I'm totally going to ignore you. I can't ignore All right, he's fine. Intercept game, game away from game. All right, that makes sense. Christmas. He he got he got fed at four thirty when I got up. He got fed at five when I got out of the shower, and then he got fed again before Alex left. So he got fed three times already. All right, turning into quite the porker. I'm kidding. He's not. Uh, we want to do that. When I do my break at 10, he'll get another snack. Yeah, Pookie's a cat. 
He's an old cat, aren't you? Yes, you are. Oh. Turns 15 in October. Uh, okay, close. And then let's close that. And we got the Delta V for this burn. Well, it's not full bowls. It's like, I don't know. We, if we give him a full helping, he'll eat it way too fast and then he gets sick. So we have to, we feed him about, I don't know, six or eight times a day, but it's not a full helping. It's like a quarter of a helping. We didn't have a, a circular orbit around here. So I think when we bring the Kerbals out, we're gonna do this a little bit different. We're gonna have more fuel. Linux, I don't, I don't allow links in chat. So uh, if you give it to me in a whisper or something like that, I'll post it. Thanks, Linux. All right, here's the uh, giveaway over there. It was posted Friday. Still going on. There you go. So now, if if I did this right, if I did this right, if I did this correctly. Hang on, I'm trying to get out of this sphere of influence here. Oh, more data. Sweet. All right. Um, we should have. Oh, we do. All right, now I got to find Curb. Where's Curbin at? Oh, geez. Uh, that's Eve. Where's the little blue pan planet at? Uh, oh, it's right here. All right. Um, all right. So that's not bad. I know we can't get an orbit. That's going to be way too much Delta V. Hang on a sec. We can get an orbit and we'll still have a hundred Delta V left over. That won't be enough to bring our orbit in. So, um, we need to adjust this trajectory and do a little arrow braking and we can use the fuel to, um, slow down. We're going to try anyways. So let's point towards, um, oh, Kerbin's on our target. Oh, Jesus. What did I do? Hang on. I don't know what I was thinking. Um. Let's do, wow, let's do that. Now, can we just, all right.
Right, here we go. So out of curiosity, let's see how much Delta V this is going to cost. Ninety-four delta V. Um, it's not going to really work, is it? I think I want to do that. How you doing? All right, so that got us in orbit. That got us, that gets us. So we still have 480 Delta V left. So if we come all the way over here to the AP and let's turn all the noise off, tag that. And let's bring that into about oh, I'm doing great. Uh, oh, so far I lost my just all right. Oh, geez. Oh, uh, look what I did. So this, uh, this craft went to orbit around Eve. Hey, it's Poodman. All right. So let's, uh, Point like that. Let's do that. One sec, guys. Give me. Uh... Oh, it's going good. Thanks. I need to do something real quick. Uh. Oh, wait. Huh. All right. All right. All right, so let's get down to here. How about yourself, Boomin? You doing good? We're picking up a lot of science. All right, so let's see here. Oh, we're coming in really fast here too.
No, no, no. One key. Oh. fuel all right well see if this works wait 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 there you go we're coming in a little little hot here uh yeah just um I have my, I have my re-entry heating cranked up. I have some custom settings. It, it's, it's, uh, those are my list of mods. It's a quality of life Kerbal with restock, basically. Oh yeah, no deadly re-entry. No, 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 no. I, I used that once before, it was very deadly. You guys ask a lot of questions. It's all I know. Feel like I'm being interrogated or something. Just so you know, no, I am not a guilty at all. Thank you. I was right here playing Kerbal Space Program is where I was. I, I don't know. Check the VOD. No, I didn't. All right, so that worked out. I'm, I'm pretty sure that we can safely get Kerbals into orbit around Eve and bring them back home. Yay! Yeah, I got lucky. All right, I have a, a new, what the heck is this thing for? This little light, does that have something to do with pressure or lack of pressure or atmosphere or something like that? It's right next to this. I've never known what that little light was for. I swear. Does it come on when vertical acceleration is negative? This light right here, my mouse is. Uh, it always thought it was showing that you're descending half. Because I think, 
I think Putin is right when you've got negative. Hang on, I'm looking it up. <laughs> Check engine light. There's also this thing too. So the altimeter locked LED has four states. Black, I don't know where the black is, but vessel is unstable. Leaving flight isn't possible. Orange, uh-oh. Vessel situation is stable, but leaving and saving isn't allowed. Blue. Green. All right. So this is what I found. So if I read this correctly, black, so is that considered black then? Vessel situation is unstable, and saving and leaving flight isn't possible. But then what is the little, tr what is this little thing for? Yeah. Look at that. We're finding out new stuff already. Someone posted, uh, seems to be broken since 2014. What? I like how someone says it changes color. It's always either on or off or orange. All right. So now we have orange, uh, orange visual situation is stable, but leaving and saving isn't allowed because of some constraint under acceleration, on a ladder, moving over terrain. Oh, that, that, 
light is your descent rate. That? Really? The orange button? Really? All right. I think I see this lit green when I'm driving around. Last entry of red. The light used to the light used to indicate something about descent rate, but but at best I'm aware of it's been broken. All right. They don't, no one explains what the little green triangle is though. Let's find out. Getting ready to lose communication here. Oh, we got communication back. It's explained at the top. What he wrote or found, I guess, the altimeter lock LED is that little upside down triangle. So your altimeter is locked? That doesn't make any sense. Nobody knows. Okay. Uh, means you can go to green warp stages five times as greater. No physics is being calculated. Really? Because that that's what this indicates when this changes color. All right, so black. Oh, so that's what there, there's. Okay, all right. Oh, yeah, we survived with some ablator. 70 kilometers while in suborbital. Oh, we're still getting science. I never used those before. Yeah, that's a, a sound mod that I installed about a week ago. Really? All right. Look at that. Brought back 22 experiments for me. All right, we're looking for a shoot at about 1350. All righty. The rose turns orange. It indicates you are falling faster. Uh, I just tried a small plane. It does change color. Green on the runway, orange and moving. Can't be saved. Okay, that's what uh, that's what King was saying. Yep. All right. Yeah, I, I I sometimes notice that, but I was just uh, as we were sitting there on the reentry, I thought I would say, "Hey, anyone know what that does?" Obviously, someone does. All right, so where are we? <laughs> oh, I have I've never landed there before. That's a first. Wait, crashing for the circle and the arrow is more of telling you can and can't do. Crashing 
or the circle. I don't know. All right, touchdown. Nice. All right, we brought back some science too. Neat. Look at that. Look at that. Live and learn. There you go. Exactly. See how much science we brought back. I don't think it's broken. I think it works fine. Eight hundred eighteen science. That's not bad. Not bad at all. You know, I don't remember seeing any uh, stage recovery me messages either. Interesting. All right. Well, that is very strange. Uh, there was no stage lost, no recovered. Weird. Very weird. Um, all right. So this is what we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to go uh, give Kerbal a restart. I'm going to go uh, take a quick little walk around. Give Pookie a snack. <laughs> and uh, then we're going to come back, load up some Kerbals, and uh, complete this contract. I can do that. Let me uh, get this going. And then we'll do this. And then we'll go over here. Oh, wait. Yeah. We can go over here and do this and then that and then that. All right. I'll be back, guys.
And I'm back. Wow, level six, you guys rock. I'm not good at this words friend thing, but um, let it, good for you guys. I found some licorice. Actually, I've had licorice. Wait for this to finish up. Nice. <clears throat> All right, that's done. That's done. Ready for the scores. Thanks, Saturn. Wow. Wow. That's impressive. All right. So, so early Christmas present from Alex was a five pound tub of red vine licorice. So I'm having it as a snack. <laughs> All right. Um, so we just tested a rocket to Eve and back. 
it's five pounds. I'm sure everyone can have three or four. What do you call this? A vine? Stick? I don't know. One pound per person? I, no, I don't have enough for that. No. All right. So. Some people don't like licorice. I was informed yesterday that, no, not yesterday, Friday, that it's got weed in it. So if you have a gluten issue, you can't have licorice. That is a bummer. <clears throat> so I don't know why I didn't get any successful stage recovery missions. All right. Time to put some crew in here. So Baked Bean, you're gonna be our pilot. Al, you're gonna be our scientist. Foodman, looks like you're going as an engineer. All right, all right. So we're gonna save it. Oh, wait, sorry, that's not it. That's not it, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hang on. Wait, 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 wait. There you go. Some buka. All right, Torts, all right, we'll get you in there, Torts. Um, so let's um make sure we're saving there. Yep. There it goes. Ooh. Now, one of my other favorite candies is hot tamales. So I'm thinking I don't get stage recovery on that because I wasn't really up high enough. I want to do IVA. No, not EVA. Oh. Electro said that with the mod, the sound mod, I should be in here from launch. Dang it.
So hang on a sec here. Um, all right, we'll go ahead and... Uh, The thing I don't understand is why the game needs to stop doing physics on drop boosters. I understand why you might want to for performance and the game can handle the calculating the boosters. I don't know, I'll let, I'll let developers answer that one. I don't know. Probably should have, uh, Brought those up a little further, make it look a little more fashionable. You know, hang on, let's do this. Jeez, race. That's terrible. Yeah. Older, um, older rock rockets made opening them up after Kerbal's been updated can have some uh, ramifications. All right. So now let's uh, get a a lock on, can I just say, Celestial Bodies, there we go. And then Eve, nice, that worked out real well. 940, 54 Delta V. So we'll create that node. And that's gonna be our burn in 316 days. Wow, we're actually not bad for a launch window. So I'll still do a Kerbal alarm clock here. And, um, all right. Yes, Andy. Time warped those kerbals for years. <laughs> Let the dark side flow through you. Do it. I'm doing it. <laughs> Thanks, Ren. Thank you. 
licorice is good. Yeah, see, I get no, um, huh. Listen to Linux. For some reason, stage recovery is not recovering my stages anymore. I didn't try a, a previous rocket. Maybe I did something wrong with these rockets. in space. Dude. 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 That's Ozzy for you. He's like your next door neighbor. How you doing, Oz? All right, so let's see how we're doing with Eve here. Is that Eve? There is Eve. And um, let's uh, point towards the target. Wow, playing some of Ready or Not, huh? I, you know, <clears throat> as a seasoned youth, I just don't have the eye-hand coordination to play PUBG, Counter-Strike, ready or not. I'm, um, I'm content with things not moving so fast. <laughs> All right, let's see about a little RCS here. Right about there. Well, you know, I, I had, I had a lot of fun when PUBG first came out. I didn't mind that so much. Um, I basically don't play anything in real time anymore. Oh, I, I, it sounds like we got like a, the right club here. Now, oh, actually that's the, I, I almost did that wrong. All right, so we want to do here. Oh, I can't do that yet. Darn it. <clears throat> well hang on let, let me talk about some i'm glad you guys brought that up because I, I added a new game to my evidently i'm not running steam why because i'm running kerbal today hang on let me bring up steam here real quick Wait, why don't you have to launch Steam to play Kerbal? Because you don't. Do, 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 do. I added, I think it's a horror first person shooter that I think will make me uh, challenge those voluntary muscles. Hey, let, me, uh, let me get my wish list up here. Now, sometimes I use a wish list just to track what's going on with a game. So. And I don't have chat open. Why don't I have chat? 
Did I close chat? Oh, I didn't close chat. There it is. Um, what? Oh, that's my Discord. There's Steam. Here we go. Hang on. Uh, 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 there you go. Um, so a lot of these things, like, I'm just keeping an eye on them. I want to see how things go and stuff like that. But the one I just added was this one right here. Beautiful light. <laughs> nice one, Ozzy. I am. I, I'm having a Monday. I tell you what. Today, when I got out of the shower, I didn't stumble or anything, but for some reason, I couldn't get the eye hand coordination and my the edge of my right foot went on the scale and popped it up and then popped it down and, and almost woke up Alex. I'm going, oh, yeah, damn. And then, of course, I'm complaining to myself about it. So I'm looking forward to this. Um, I still want to play this. This, I've played the demo. What is the game? Beautiful light. Um, winter survival could be interesting. Hostile Mars looks like it could be, if you're into those things to where it's you and your automation and against everything, uh, infection free zone. I'm looking forward to that. It's turn-based. Um, this I'm not so excited about anymore. I, I don't think I like the game style. I played the demo of this. I need more. Uh, but the one I'm I'm really looking forward to. I'm looking forward to Forever Skies. Um, um, the one I want to pick up is this one right here. I was hoping the last train home was going to be more like FTL rather than the real time tag. Yeah, see, I, I don't know. Oh, once human, actually, um, I, I watched uh, people playing this. Good co-op game, I think. So anyways, thought I'd just share that all. Oops, oops, there we go. We on a trajectory here? Yep, all right. We're getting experiments. All right, so we have to get an orbit. Um, let's see how much this orbit's gonna cost. 868, all right, we'll do that. I have Broken Arrow on my list. It, it looks like it, it's a, a game kind of up my alley in a way. I just next year, there's two big things on my hit list is I want to get our electrical panel swapped out. And I know that's going to be very expensive. And I want to upgrade my, my PC. I've been playing a lot of Starcraft two lately. Just me against AI. There goes the sign. <clears throat> hey, this is scary. This is for real. We got Kerbals on board. There's Eve. Yoink. Ladies and gentlemen, Eve.
I always love Eve. I'll never forget the first time I landed. You know, the first time I landed, it was a disaster. I had a Kerbals. I think I had two Kerbals. And I landed too hard, broke the strut. They didn't die. I didn't know how to do rescue missions. You know, pinpoint landings were only a dream for me. All right, so we're in orbit, right? Now we just got to go back home. All right, so let's do this. Um, all right, we need 752 Delta V. We don't quite have enough. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to transfer enough into this stage. To get that done. And we gotta wait one year, 95 days. I think I'm gonna complicate my, my man landing on Eve where the craft is gonna take an ICRU with it that way. And I'm gonna put a ship in orbit with fuel just in case, so yeah. Uh, Kerbal Alarm Clock. Oh, wow, nice. Um... What do I want to do? No, I don't want to do that. <laughs> well, you know, it's what you're comfortable with. I remember the first time landing on Gilly. I could not land on Gilly. I kept bouncing off the surface. Oh, my glasses are dirty. I had to use Kerbal Attachment to keep my craft because it kept floating off. Well, the, the one thing with Duna is Ike always gets in the way. Always. Ike is just not your best friend. No, he's not. Yeah, Kerbal Attachment had these uh, harpoon type things. And um, I would just launch them into the ground so my craft wouldn't move. Hmm. All right, 140 days left. I know, even the ones, yeah, because I thought it would be a really cool idea on Minmus to set up a permanent base is using the ground anchors and structural pieces to deploy solar panels and then connect them. But um, every single time physics would load, they'd get all jacked and stuff. Hardest landing I ever did was Lily, a little UFO shaped moonlit. We got only a passion pad. It's tiny and it's shaped like a pan. It's almost impossible to stay landed. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's, that sounds nuts. Oh, I didn't want to do that. What did I just do? 
No, 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 no. I clicked on the wrong button. Good thing I don't have a life support mod installed. What was the alarm? All right, let's, um... What is this? Why is there... Why do I have multiple nodes? Weird. There's Eve. How much science have we gotten? We got some. Moonlit. I've never heard of it, of a moon called a moonlit. How much I know about, you know, atmospherics and astrology. Or... We've left a little piece of debris in space. It was going to happen anyway. All right, so let's see what our orbit looks around Kerbin. Uh, how come I don't see an encounter with Kerbin? Oh, geez, really? That's not good. All right. Um, let's see here. Let's see if we can fix this before we leave. That didn't work. That doesn't leave me a whole lot of fuel left. I don't like that.
right, let's get let's get out of Eve. I wonder what happened with my burn. I mean, I had a I had a worse orbit last time. And I got back just fine. I just wasted all that. Hopefully the uh, the transfer isn't so bad. I'll find out here in a sec. Oops, monkey. Dude, let's get out of here. Let's get out. Here we go. All right, let's see here. Um. Oh, okay. I was going to say, that's not right. So 742 Delta V to get that <laughs> um so just out of curiosity if i try to get an orbit here that's about half the fuel so that's all my fuel minus about 200 delta v So then if I have 200 Delta V left over, that's 322. So I wouldn't have enough to do that. So we're gonna have to do arrow breaking. So, Oh, geez. No, 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 no. thing again all right so let's set this here what's wrong one there we go if your orbit insertion burn was close to the planet wouldn't you get yeah you would i would you're right um out of curiosity what that changes yeah i wouldn't have the fuel for that so we're just we're gonna arrow break all right so deleting this node is very difficult what okay so that was rude. Post him in Discord. Put him in. I played the, one of the coolest mod packs I've ever played, which again, very early on in my years of Kerbalin, I think it was called New Horizon. It was cool. <sighs> it 
it was pretty too. <laughs> it made no sense. I, I guess that's a good way to put it. All right, hang on a sec. Wait, wait, wait. Let me, um, 38 years. Wow. Let me abort this. Perfect. The, um, from that mod, the KS, I used um, their, I want to say enhanced planet textures with texture replacer. I, I liked their imagery. All right, let's um, go take a look at uh, Foodman's stuff here real quick. Oh, that little thing? Oh, wow, that's weird looking. That is really weird. It looks like a, a weird mushroom. Weird. Thanks, Bowdoin. Huh. All right, hang on. Uh, because evidently we have 37 years. Gravels are gonna get old. It's in an album. Oh, look at there. Oh, look at that. That looks like a walnut. Ooh, look at that. Woodman's trying to land. He's got a little miner. That's really cool. Oh man, that's so sweet. Okay. Bear with me for a sec, guys. Oh, geez. <clears throat> so 
35 years. Holy shnikey. That's what you get for trying to make a home and transfer when you're in a very bad spot. Home and home and home and home and transfer. Oh. What do you call it when you're way out in space with no one there? I don't know. What? Holman alone. Oh. No. I'm sorry, but um How about new? <laughs> This is going to take all day. Can't go any faster. Hang on, wait, let's do this though. A police officer caught two kids playing with the fireworks and a car battery. He charged them and let the other one off. <laughs> oh, that was horrible. I'm so sorry. I'm really sorry about that. It's terrible, terrible, terrible. And I'm trying to uh, adjust the heat because now I'm too warm. Usually what happens is in the morning, during winter, of course, it gets pretty cold in here until this stuff gets warmed up. And then it gets very comfortable until the sun start comes through, which it is. So now it's starting to get warm. I need to turn that down. And, uh, Make that go away and then do that. Yeah, it's Homan. Homan, I think is how you pronounce it. Wow. 
a lunatic. <laughs> All right, so hang on. Let me go to... Um... Please. Oh. oh, sorry about that. Wondering why this is actually taking so darn long. That's not the right thing. Uh, okay. I seem to have lost my craft. I seem to have lost my kerbals. Oh no. There it is. Exactly. All right, so we're trying to go back to Kerbin. We have a node. It says it's 31 years away. take us 87 all right so uh i don't like this Thirty-seven years wow really i know this is uh i've never i think the most i've ever had was like 12 years uh that's because we have a crazy orbit that's why
Yikes. <laughs> Grow beards and stuff. You know, when I when I was using a life support, there was an, another mod called Deep Freeze. And that saved my bacon so many times when I had Kerbals going out on these things and some something horrible would happen. You know, I know there's a mod that gives them hair and facial hair and stuff like that. There used to be a mod called Humans that actually made the Kerbals have uh, pigment and, uh, and hair and stuff. So it looked like humans. That was always so weird to see. Tell you what, guys, I'm going to go do another break. All right. And then um, while I'm on break, we're going to leave this going and we'll. Uh, we'll uh, do this. And. Um, take care of some business. I'll be right back.
Holy shnikes, only four years have gone by. Wow. To go into the save file and change the current year without messing up the save because I have a feeling this is going to take like a half an hour and you guys don't want to wait in here a half an hour for this to happen. I'm gonna install that just so I can get, fix this. Thanks, Boomin. Boomin's always got a good answer. So is Linux too. All right, so let's um, pause this for a sec and um, get back here. And we're gonna install a mod to help fix a problem that I caused. So let me do, uh, did that work? No, hang on. Let me get back to my ship here. Thanks, Saturn. <clears throat> I used that mod once before. I wonder why I didn't, why I don't use it anymore. 30, 35 years later. All right, so let's get, get an F5 in there. So we got a quick save. Let's quit. Do that. And we want built. Oh, I don't know what I just did. I clicked a button. I don't know what I clicked. Let me see if I can uh, get my camera to change the aperture settings. Nope, not really. All right. So filter on compatible. Better. Or, hmm. Oops, I lost chat. Hey, Longfellow, we have a problem. Those rations were packed were kind of rough, causing certain gastro issues. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, better time warp, that's what it's called. There it is. All right. Yeah, yeah, it was 
Absolutely. So if I bring up my CCAN and I go to manage game instances, there's the ones I have. Then you can make like, like the one we're in right now, that's actually my default. So it'll always load that one in. Oh, I saw that. I, I that's a that's a. I've seen that animation or not animation. I've seen a clip of that. Yeah, without NASA knowing. Wow. How did he pack that aboard? You know. Start, zoom, load. Astronaut error. All right, so better time warp. There it is. Um. So we have, I don't want to do that. I'm not too sure what I'm doing here. So let's get rid of Hey car toys, how you doing? Well, let's see here. Oh, I see. All right. Hang on. Let's go to the tracking station. So if we go to better warp time, we go to hyper warp. Oh, okay, that's going faster. Kind of crazy. dizzy it's very interesting Like a disco.
I um, I watched. Most might think it's boring. I watched a guy build his own RV, you know, a towable trailer, not a huge one, but it was very interesting to watch somebody's process versus from a manufacturing, you know, uh, you know, how, how they, how other like Winnebago and companies, how they do it off of a, a um, off the, the assembly line. That's what I was trying to say. Did they make it out of wood? They did. They did. He, uh, he had a, an actual trailer. I don't remember the dim dimensions. I'm going to say 15 feet by eight, maybe. So it was an actual trailer trailer. And then he built the, uh, he built a subfloor and put it inside the trailer, attached it to the trailer, built the walls, uh, built the, you know, the framing and stuff like that. And he, you know, it wasn't luxurious. It didn't have a kitchen or a bathroom, just a way, a, a, a way he could pull up to a campsite and pull out his camping gear and have a place to sleep that had air conditioning, heating. So I thought it was, a, you know, I hear about people making their own teardrops and stuff like that, but he went just a little bit further than a teardrop, I thought. All right, so let's do standard warp. Cool. And then we can do this. Yeah, like I said, it wasn't like super exciting, but it was interesting just how someone had with the right skill set. And even he ran into some hiccups too, to where um, he was trying to use a certain sword, certain kind of bolt, but he actually got the wrong one because it was a concrete lag bolt versus, in other words, I, I think he said that it would have over time rusted. So he, he picked up the wrong ones. Um, and then he used something. So when he had the, when he had the plywood walls up with some, uh, bare bone, um, framing, he used some sort of weird goo in between the, uh, the two by fours and the, uh, the plywood to keep moisture out. I don't know what it was called. It was kind of dark orange looking. I don't know. I don't think it was a caulking or anything. I, he's, I, I don't know what it was, but. There's just things I wouldn't have considered. I know Alex, Alex and I have plans to, maybe it could have been construction, no, not adhesive. It was more of a, you know how you, you have a, a seam, right? You don't want to glue it together. You want to make sure you get something in there fills that nook and cranny. It wasn't a, a foam or anything like that. It looked like some sort of caulking, but it was kind of like, a, it almost looked like the, uh, the color of like oatmeal. So I don't think it was construction though, because he was, he was gluing and screwing everything being very adamant. He used pocket holes as his joinery. Um, Alex and I want to get a class C motorhome, something that's that, you know, that we can hang out and like for a week and be comfortable and go somewhere up in the mountains so she can do some astral photography. And during night we can break out our gaming laptops and game and watch movies all night. PLP premium. Um, now I'm, now I'm overly curious. <laughs> Let me, um, Um, see, it might have been on part four, or was it on part three? He did like a five part build series. All right, so I can't find part three. Let me go to part four and get part three. Part. Bye. No, so I think it's gonna be in part three. Let's see.
Yeah, it might have been in part four. <laughs> like when he was giving the tour of the inside and he was pointing out, no, it can't be part four, so maybe it was part two. And this was like a, a one-man operation. I think his wife and in-laws were there to kind of help out on the stuff he absolutely needed two people with. All right, I think I, I think I found the spot. I think. Maybe not. Well, I have Starlink. You know, it's funny because you say that, but T-Mobile has got a better deal than Starlink. Um, I don't think he's, he doesn't go to, uh, oh, mine, will mine have Starlink? Probably, yeah, the, the places that uh, Alex wanna go to takes pictures, we'll, we'll be out in the, you know, we won't be at a campground, we'll be on a dirt road somewhere. All right, let's see if we can get the Kerbals back here. All right, so delete that, jump to the ship. All right, so I don't see it in part two, so it has to be part three. Uh, close the alarm and 726 Delta V. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep his video up. His name's Brian. He goes by Brian Waters Outdoors. Yeah, it ain't cheap. No, it's not. And there's some other. Uh, do I got forecast for snow? No, I don't see any snow in our forecast. We got rain. Um. The thing is, he built this trailer, and then he sold it. He got a, a different truck. Then he got a small travel trailer. Then he got a bigger one to fit the family. And then I don't, I must've missed a video why he sold it. And then he wanted to build his own, not a, he, it was like, a, he wanted to try making his own like bare bones. I don't know what you call it, but it's basically you tow an equipment trailer behind you and you have a pop-up trailer a pop-up tent on the top log cabin on woods there you go a little dusting okay all right so we should be heading to Kerbin now we have 907 delta v where's the planet at oh right there uh, okay Seventy-one. All right, so let's um. Oh, we've got a mun encounter. Really? <laughs> what are the chances? Oh no no no! That was wrong. Oh, that would have been real wrong. This is where we want to go. Yeah. Well, you know, we don't want to get a brand new Class C. I just want to make sure it's comfortable that we can go off grid for, you know, like three or four days with power and solar and, and uh, you know, have the comfortable amenities that we want, you know. Bun likes to be part of everything. Yes, you're absolutely true. All right, so with our 907 Delta V,
Okay, there's our capture. So let's go ahead and that's going to use 88. Let's get that squared away. Yeah, I'm actually going to use like an RV tech service that's not associated with whomever we buy it through. Have them come out and do an RV inspection and whatnot. Yep. I've watched enough RV videos to see actual technicians replacing stuff. Man, I tell you what, some of the places they have to get into is like really tight. Hey, it's Kerbin. Hi, Kerbin. We've been to Eve. We've been gone for 37 years. Hope nothing's changed. Probably has. All right. Now. Um... We're actually not coming in that fast. All right, let's see. All right, so I'm going to watch the guy's video again because I'm very curious on what it was called. It's going to get a little warm, it's true. Hey, there's more science. Yeah, not bad. 
We we did a test run before. Uh, we we came from the other direction though. I think I got him cranked all the way up. She's cooling off. I think I found the spot in the video. Not just not. All right. Oh. Okay. Noisy. I don't see any mountains. Yay. Shoots are good. Uh, someone used uh, the closed caption says he used PO premium so PLP premium you're right Longfellow um, this is uh, the video I was talking about It's a construction adhesive three times stronger than traditional. Wow. Oh, go on. 
you know how you know nothing about a certain product line or or uh, anything and the moment you dip your toe into oh I'm kind of curious all of a sudden all these acronyms and main uh, names and, and products and stuff you go oh I had no idea so I knew who Loctite was but I didn't know they made an adhesive Mm. Right. Well, when Alex and I started, when we first started renovating, I picked up one tube of the um, Dynoflex 230 caulk, and it was like, almost nine bucks for the tube. And we used it, we, we experimented with the smallest room in the house, which was the hallway. I said, let's do this as our, our model, what works and what doesn't work sort of thing. And I said, what we need to do is do, um, fill in, you know, pull off all the nails, all the screws, sand down where we can, putty this, sand that. And then I go, where the ceiling, where the, the crown molding is, between the crown molding and the ceiling and between the crown molding and the wall, we wanna put some caulk in there, not just paint it because over time that's gonna shrink or whatnot. We have touchdown. Yes, we do. So by using the hallway, hallway as a test bed and using this, this one type of caulking and how it, how it had so much um, elasticity, I said, this would be really good for quite a few years and I got lucky enough and I showed, I think is uh, the happy carpenter who had all these different caulkings that spread them out, let them dry and was able to test, you know, how well they stood up if they're brittle and stuff. And the one we were using was at the far end. And it goes, you know, if you get this, you're going to be good for quite a few years. And that's what Alex went, whoa, cool. All right, mission accomplished, contract completed, 660,000 kerbuckle bucks, whoa. Nice. All right, let's see how much science we brought back. So we bought a case of that stuff and we use that as a, as a go-to for every single um, joint that need to be filled with uh, any sort of caulking and stuff. Whoa, that's some nice science added to what we have. That was pretty good. How much for the original rocket did you manage to save? Well, that, that's interesting because I have um, stage recovery, but I didn't get any indications that we recovered. We should have recovered the boosters and the lifter, but uh, whoa, look at that. First sun orbit ribbon, Ooh, it's bright and orange. That makes sense. First Eve orbit, it's purple like Eve, get it? So, um, I need to, tomorrow I need to test out why, now the rocket, let's see how much the rocket cost. It was probably the most expensive rocket I've launched. $265,000 kerbuckle bucks. So we got our money back. But, um... different rocket but we got we got these boosters back we got this stage back so i'm wondering why we didn't get any um hmm. anyways all right guys that's it for today successful eve mission thanks guys for being here let's roll some credits credit music wow linux thanks for the resub that was 54 months appreciate it very much Caden. we'll see you later guys tomorrow probably some more kerbal all right, we're out of here. Have a good one.